Thank you for coming back. This afternoon, we are going to look at one particular topic in Form 4, which is called Forces in Equilibrium. I call it Part 1 because there are a few lessons that I would like to explain step by step to all of you. Now, before we go on, I must make sure that your mind is in a state of equilibrium. Okay, you are steady? We continue. Now, to do well in physics, to understand physics, this is the key. Do output revision, write things down, answer questions, answer calculation questions, answer examination questions over and over again. And then you will understand the concepts very well. Now, for today, there are two main learning outcomes that I would like to have. Number one, that you are able to understand forces in equilibrium, what it is all about at the end of the lesson, as well as being able to sketch a triangle of forces in equilibrium. All right? So, you will be able to do that by the end of the lesson. Okay, let's take a look at question number 10 in front of us. The diagram shows a picture hanging on a wall. A very nice diagram. I wish my photograph is there. Which vector diagram represents the forces T1, T2 and W that act on the picture? Now basically, this whole question has to do with forces in equilibrium. Alright, I'm going to sketch a few things and let you draw. Alright. I'm going to let you see a few other important pictures here. Now, number one, how many forces are acting on the frame? I'm going to draw it now. The simplest is the weight W. Weight W, it acts downwards. Now, what about tension T1? Alright. What about tension T1? It acts upwards. What about tension T2? Tension T2, it acts upwards as well. Alright? So we have T1, we have T2, we have W. Now this is very important to know where the forces are acting. Because once you get it right, your understanding will be correct. If you get it wrong, then your concept will be wrong. Now before we come to draw uh, the triangle, let us take a look at an activity. Okay, this is interesting. Alright? These three guys in the photograph, actually they are pulling each other at a certain point. And when they are not moving, they are in equilibrium. You want to watch the video? Alright, let's take a look. Alright, now, as you look at this short video clip, what happened was, the three of us are pulling each other with a force, and when at the point that we are not moving, we were in equilibrium. Alright, now allow me to draw. I'm going to draw something and show you very clearly. Now I'm coming back to the same activity in picture form. Alright, I'm going to draw the forces. Now the first one, alright, where is the force acting? Upwards. The second one, where is the force acting? Outwards, from the point of equilibrium. And there's another one this way, where is the force acting? What is the direction? Outwards. So as you can see, there are three forces that are acting outwards from a point. You could be asking me, Teacher, why are you telling me all this? Let's get back to the picture. Good. Let's get back to the frame. What I've been trying to explain is this. If there is a point of equilibrium, take a look at W. Where is it acting? Downwards. 
what about T1? Where is it acting? Upwards. And what about T2? Where is it acting? The other direction. Alright. Now this diagram that I have just drawn for you is very important. This will help us get our answer. Alright, let me show you how. Ah, I'm doing this one. It will make you all jealous of me. Okay, never mind. Just go and buy your computer. Alright. Let me show you. I'll put it here. Alright. I want to put it here so that I can draw it and you can see it. Alright. So these are the three forces that I have adapted from the original diagram. Okay, let us do one by one. You need to follow one particular rule as you draw a triangle of forces in equilibrium. What is it? Always draw the diagram where the forces are in a cycle. Let me repeat. The forces must be in a cycle. It does not matter whether it is clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. The forces must be drawn in a cyclic manner. It must be in a cycle. Alright, that is the main emphasis. Got it? Okay, good. Let's draw it now. I will choose another color, purple. Okay. So let me see. Let's start with W. Now, in fact, you can start with W, T1 or T2. It does not matter which one you start with. Alright? Let us start with W. So W, it goes down. I mark it W. Alright? What about T2? I follow it by T2. T2 goes up, isn't it? Now, remember what did I say? It must be in a cyclic manner. It must go in a cycle. You understand? And then after that, I mark it T2. I've taken T2. Now, what about T1? T1 is here. Alright? T1 goes the other direction. Now, as I say, this is a sketch. Alright? This is a sketch. This is T1. Alright? So the diagram that I have just drawn down here, let me highlight it. Let me take away. Okay. Don't worry about the D. Alright, that's not the answer, but the, we will take a look at the diagram that I have drawn. Okay. W down, then I have T2 going up, T1 going up. Alright. Now, let us take a look. At the answer A. Isn't our diagram the same? T1, W down, T2. So this is the answer, isn't it? But let us also look at B, C and D and see what has gone wrong. Alright. Look at B. W goes down. Is it correct? Yes. Look at T2. It goes down. So it's wrong. What about T1? It goes down. It is wrong. Moreover, if you look at B, are the forces in a cycle? It comes down. It's not even in a cycle. So if you look at all the answers where the forces are not in a cycle, straight away it is wrong. So, this is wrong. Okay. Let me use another color. Alright. So this is wrong. Now, take a look at C. W goes down. T2 goes up. What about T1? It is not in a cycle. So this is wrong. Look at answer D. T1 goes up. And then W goes up. It is not even in a cycle. And this is wrong. So it's so simple. If you look at the triangles in the answers, the one that is correct, it must have all the forces in the correct direction. Number two, the forces must go in a cycle. And A, B, C, D, the four answers, if you just remember the point that I'm trying to make, the three forces must be in a cycle or cyclic manner. There is only one answer, and that is A. And I can see you all smiling. Okay, you find that it's so simple. Alright, so 
to summarize it. Now you have learned what forces in equilibrium means. And number two, now you are able to sketch a triangle of forces in equilibrium. You can sketch a diagram showing a triangle of three forces in equilibrium. So I can see that you are happy. And when you are happy, Uncle Pang is happy too. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much for being with me. And may God bless you. Uncle Pang here.